Hi, welcome to VTeach Academy and in today's video we are going to teach you about subtraction of integers. This is a very simple concept if you understand the basics of the same. Let me show you the same concept in the form of a number line. We would be writing few numbers marked from 0 towards a positive end and towards a negative end on the left. So we are writing down a set of integers on this number line right now which includes both the negative and the positive integers. Let's start off with a few examples which would easily make you understand the concept of subtraction of integers. So the first example is 6 minus 3. So the first thing what you need to do is you need to mark the number 6 and then move 3 steps on the left of your number line and wherever you stop would be the answer. So in this case 6 minus 3 would be actually 3 and that would gi clearly give you the answer of the same. Let's move a little bit advanced and move to the second example which is 8 minus minus 1. Yes, this looks quite confusing because you, we have two minuses in the same equation. So in this case, first you need to mark the number 8 and then instead of moving towards the left, you actually need to move towards the right because we are subtracting a negative number or a negative integer from this integer. So in this case, 8 minus minus 1 would actually be 8 plus 1 or in short, you would be moving one step towards the right and making the answer to number 9. So in short, each time you want to subtract the positive integers, you actually have to move left on the line while if you would like to subtract a negative integer, then you have to move towards the right on the number line. Let me show you the same concept in the form of few more examples. So the first example which we are going to discuss is 5 minus 3. The first thing you need to do is mark the number 5 on the number line and then since we are reducing the number 3 from the number 5 you need to actually move towards the left on the number line and we have stopped at number 2 which is the answer of 5 minus 3. So the concept is the same if you are subtracting some numbers then you need to move towards the left and the answer comes down to 2. Now we are going to subtract the number 7 minus minus 4. So as I mentioned earlier, when you are subtracting a negative number, you need to actually move towards the right on the number line. So let's first mark 7, then move 4 places towards the right. So we have stopped actually at 11, which is the answer of this equation. That's 7 minus minus 4, which is 11. Now let's proceed with a bit more advanced example, wherein we are going to subtract the number minus 4 with minus 2. So in this case, let's first mark off the number minus 4 on the number line and then move two steps toward the left. So in this case, it would be minus 5, minus 6. So the answer comes to minus 6. Again, the concept is the same. Since you are subtracting a number, you are moving towards the left. And now since you are subtracting a negative number, you need to actually move towards the right. So in this example, when you are subtracting minus 8, minus minus 1, you need to first mark the number minus 8 and then move one step towards the right. Hence the answer of this would be minus 8 minus minus 1 equals to minus 7. So this is a very simple concept but you need to understand the basics of the same. You can clearly see that when you are subtracting negative integers like minus 1 and minus 4, you are actually moving towards the right on your number line. But when you are subtracting some positive integers like 3 and 2, you would be actually moving left on your number line. So that's the simple concept of subtraction of integers. Do check out more videos around mathematics on vtchacademy.com. Thank you.